Hey guys, what's up? I have a zit on my chin. I never have zits. Um, and I'm breaking out, I think, because I'm pregnant. And this is like not even a zit that you can pop. It's just like disgusting. Okay, um, what is up? So today was supposed to be... Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. And I was fine. And I got home and I was so sick. So this is getting up late. Um, I was like waiting for like a break in me feeling like absolute shit to make this video so this is our chance okay and this this is rickety this is a vintage like chair and it's wooden and it's rickety so it makes noises and okay i'm not stop i mean you know i make excuses for everything okay stop all right i have to defend myself because you'll be like i don't even know what you'll be like oh she's a rickety chair like don't you think i'm dumb okay stop all right so um anyway today's gonna was supposed to be like show and tell because I have things that like I purchased that I have not shown you guys. Like I don't really like show you stuff anymore. And I like to do that. Um, I also like to gatekeep a lot. So maybe some of the stuff I will not tell you where I purchased it from or the brand. But I'm sure the rats out there, um, the rats will not know. They will scurry to find out. But like those of us who know, know. And that's all that matters because you'll know. Okay. Um, that and also um, it's my stocking stuffers. You guys know that every year um, for December, I launch my HRH bougie or luxe stocking stuffers. So basically it's like all this new, all these new designs that are available and they're like up to 50% off. Some things are like more than $50 off. And then, um, so you can get them now through December for like an amazing deal. And then January, either they will be taken off the line or if I keep them on the line, they will jump to the regular selling price. Okay. So those are, that's the stocking stuffer, like synopsis. And I'm not going to, I'm going to show you guys, like, I'm not going to show you all of them at once. I'm going to show you my favorites throughout the video. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's the, um, daydream love letter love letters and I really wanted a name necklace and so I was like trying to like design one that I loved I love this really glossy like curb that picks up a lot of light and these are like um crystal letters if you you can't tell this is actually the pink the pink is really really faint it's very baby pink it's very pretty but when there's a lot of light it looks like um white crystals so I love that um, and I think this is like $50 off or something. It's crazy. I don't know. There's some things that are like insane. So now is the time I have things for boys and girls. This is also on there. It's my, um, angel love letter. My, I think it's called the super angel love letter. Sorry. Super. It's called angel. It's called angel, angel letter. Um, you guys know I use these angel letters on a lot of my designs. They're like angel numbers, but they're angel letters. And this is huge. This is like massive. The ones I used before are like smaller than this. And this is like a massive one. It comes in gold and silver. And it's also on this new chain. So a lot of the designs I'm doing now too for stocking stuffers is I'm introducing new chains into my line, which are also like you're getting them now and for an amazing price. So anyway, stocking stuffers is really sick. I, you'll see. Okay, stop. Okay. Um, <laughs> so today was supposed to be um, a, just a show and tell, but I also am like very irritated by things. And I want to tell you guys before we get started, because I was like shocked. Okay. So, um, you guys know how I feel. Okay. Sorry. Okay. You guys know how I feel about, um, Christmas trees. Okay. And I don't care. I've already written this on my Insta and a lot of people get offended. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Why are you here listening to my, um, thoughts on Christmas trees? You know what I mean? Like, why don't you go make your own video about, about your white trash Christmas tree and get the fuck off of my page? I don't care what you like. I'm not in your house. I'm just, I tell you guys what the vibe is. Cause you don't, a lot of people don't get it. And rats piss me off when they ruin the vibe. Okay. It's the truth. So if you don't want to hear things, get the fuck out of here. Okay. Period. So um, there are the only acceptable Christmas trees are like something that feels Nordic. Okay. Something that feels like either like Germanic or like Swedish or Norwegian, something like that. If your, if your fucking Christmas tree feels like Macy's, it's white trash. Stop. It's white trash. I, I cannot stand. Okay. Stop. Stop it right now. <laughs> 
I can't take it anymore. What I cannot take is white trash Christmas trees. Okay, I, I told you guys from 12 times, I've already posted it 12 times, I don't care. I don't like fake Christmas trees. You can tell me why you don't have a fake, why you have fake Christmas trees. I don't care. Do you think I give a rat's ass why your ass chose a fucking fake Christmas tree? I don't care. Good for you. I'm coming on here, like, make your own channel and like bloviate about how you would own, how you would never buy a real Christmas tree. I would never have a fake Christmas tree. I don't care. I don't care what it is. All I know is that, okay, period. Stop. I hate saying period. I'm not th if that's my new thing, someone do something to me. Okay. I'm not saying that again. Stop. Like, why do I say that? Okay. So this is the thing. What I hate, so hate most is a, an American, you guys know I love America. So don't even go there. I hate like an American style Christmas tree with like massive, like bows all over it or like big, huge, like ball decorations. It's giving Macy's. It's giving white trash. It's giving new money. It's ugly. Okay. It's ugly. Get some class. Everyone's doing it. No one has any class. Okay. That's the truth. That is the motherfucking truth. Okay. I don't care what you think. Write a thesis. It will be deleted. I don't allow theses on my page. I don't read them. Even if they are telling me how much you fucking obs are obsessed with me. I thought that was something that was not. Um, I will delete. I don't like theses. You should not have that much time in your life to be on my channel or anyone's channel writing a fucking thesis. Get a goddamn life. Okay. So now, and usually theses are there are there to like try and school me, and you'll never school me, bitch. No, you won't. I'm better than you. I will get into that too. Okay. okay. I'm never gonna be able to share anything with you guys. Okay, so here we go. I'm not made for bangs. I'm not because I just fuck them up. Like this is what I do. This is how I live my life. Anyway, um, I'm really sick and tired of Christmas trees. So my Christmas tree is very Nordic. Okay, it's very Scandinavian. It's very cute. It's very classy. Okay, it's very classy. Um, no, and like I said, the the viral tree, the viral pop up tree from Home Depot is giving exactly that. It looks like shit. Okay, I don't care if you don't agree with me. I don't. I'm telling you that it's white trash. It is okay. And don't come for me because I'm fucking white. I don't care. I'll say anything I want. Okay. The next thing I talk about is just really quick before I get into this. I also wrote a tweet, and I was like. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, what did I say? You guys would know. I was like, oh yeah, I can't, I, I can't imagine actually caring what people if I caring if people like me or not. Oh my god, I want people to not like me. That's the truth because I don't want anyone near me. So I'm the opposite of you. I would rather people dislike me because um, I don't want anyone around me. Ever since I was a child, like I don't want friends. You know what I mean? I just don't. So it's better that you dislike me because then you're like surely never gonna speak to me. Um, that's the truth. So it's like, I would never try and like make someone, oh, stop my hair. Oh my God. Ugh, Cause I'm like on one day. I, okay. That's better. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I just can't imagine doing anything to like make it so like someone liked me. I just would never do that. So I don't understand that. So I tweeted that. And then I got to thinking more because people were like, Alex, how do you get to that point? Like, I don't know. Like, how do you just get to the point where like, you don't care what people think? Um, okay, this is a thing. I know you're gonna hate me so much, but I don't care. And I'm gonna set it because I don't care. Okay, it's true. Um, this is a thing, and I could be a fucking street rat on the in the gutter, and I would still think this. It's not about money, okay? I'm better than the I'm better than you. Okay, what I'm talking about, I'm better than you. You know what we're talking about. We're talking about the fucking rats, okay? We're not talking about people that we like on here, so don't get all fucking offended, Molly, and you know where, okay? Um, we're not which I this is the thing. There is a mindset that you are like, you, you, like, I don't compete with the average person. I'm smarter and better than you. You know that I'm, I'm 39, but I don't look it. I beat you in every category. Why would I ever give a fuck what you think of me? That's the truth. Okay. So, and I told you, even if I was in the fucking gutter on the street, poor as dirt, I would still feel this way. So it's not about many. Okay. She's not about many. It's not about that. Okay. It's about that. That's how I feel. I'm better than you. Okay. And I, there's people out there who have the same thought as me. We're better than you. That's what it is. Why would I give a fuck what a dumb ass rat thinks about me? I don't care. Everything I say is right. Everything I say is hundred percent true and accurate. So therefore, why would I give a fuck what a dumb fuck thinks of me? That's just how I am. That's how I've always been. And it's just like a way of, it's just like a way of life. I don't know what to say, but like, either you are better than everyone or you're not. And it's not a bad thing. 
It's not because I'm telling you, it's not, it doesn't come from a place. It comes from a place of like intelligence. It doesn't come from a place. You're a narcissist. You're a fucking dumb loser. Okay. You're a fucking loser. That's the thing. Like you're a loser. If you don't think you're better than people, you're a loser. Okay. Because, because you should be like, you should be like, why are you not? Oh, it's because you're busy writing theses on my page. Cause you're a fucking loser. Yeah. Okay. Do not get white trash Christmas trees. Piss me off. Okay. So we're going to lead into this. Dude, did you guys, I'm over this. I'm shocked. I'm over it. Okay, did you guys see Beverly Hills Hotel's Christmas decor? I posted it on my Insta story this morning. I was, I had, I had no words. Okay, and this is the truth and you're going to come for me. And I don't care. Okay, I don't care. So the fucking, I don't know what happened. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. You guys know I used to frequent Beverly Hills Hotel a lot because especially during like COVID, there was nothing to do. So we'd like go for like, you know, a night or two or whatever. It was the thing to do. It's so passe. Like it's so ghetto now. Yes, it is. It's ghetto. Okay. Yes. It's very ghetto. No. Um, it's very new money. It's giving new money. Okay. And it's giving like, it's just is I'm telling you the truth. And you guys know anyone who's been there knows what I'm talking about. It's gone downhill. Okay. So it's shitty and it's dumb and it's not the vibe. It's really not. Um, so I saw their Christmas decor. Someone posted it. And I was like, I was shocked because like a few months ago, I also saw someone put up like a picture of like one of their rooms. And I was like, sh I literally looked like the Sheraton. It looked like fucking like the Hilton by the airport. Like it's like a Hilton at the airport. Like that's what it looked like. I'm not kidding. It was like insane. So you guys know, if you saw them on Instagram, you would have seen that. <laughs> but, um, so now they put up their Christmas decor and some dumb fuck. Cause this thing, like, this is the thing with you guys. No one has any critical thinking skills. No one can look at something with their motherfucking eyes and have an opinion. Like think that looks like shit or that looks good. Just because it's the Beverly Hills Hotel doesn't mean it looks good. Something is going on there. Is someone buying out the Beverly Hills Hotel? Like are they switching owners? Like is new ownership coming in? Cause what the fuck are those fucking um, atrocious? Someone said Hobby Lobby, absolutely. So in the front, like in the entrance of, like when you walk in to the Beverly Hills Hotel, they have like Christmas decor up, okay? I have never seen anything so tacky in my life. And this is what it's giving. And it took me a second because I do come up with very good analogies, but sometimes it takes me a minute, especially right now because I'm ill and I'm pregnant and I don't feel like, I feel like, a, like I just don't feel well. It's giving like your immigrant grandmother's Christmas decor. Anyone who has a, an immigrant grandmother, which I do, knows that immigrant grandmothers are just tacky. They can't help it. There's like something about them where they just, I think it's because they didn't have much growing up, much growing up. So then they come to like the States and they like, you know, the American dream and they just like, they just like buy. So I don't know. They just, they're just like, they are tacky. It's true. Um, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen like an immigrant grandmother that has like, um, good, like good, good style. Like it's very rare. Okay. Um, that's the truth. So that's like literally how my grandma would probably have decorated her, her, like her, she would love, she would love that. She would see the Beverly Hills Hotel and she'd be like, Oh my God, this is so fabulous with like her thick, her thick accent. You know what I mean? Like, but in actuality it is tacky. Okay. Like it just is. I don't know what the fuck they're doing there. It looks like they just had someone like some, one of the workers go down and get every single Christmas decor and just literally throw it everywhere. It's atrocious. And of course, all these dumb fucking numbskulls are like, oh my God, the Beverly Hills Hotel looks so beautiful. And they're with taking pictures in front of it. And oh my God, like, oh, I would never take a photo in front of that. That is tacky. I'd rather, it's like, I, it's like you're taking a picture in front of the Hobby Lobby, like decor that you can purchase. It's horrible. I cannot believe, please go someone in LA, please go take a picture in front of it and tag me. It is so egregious. Like what in the fuck is going on there? Like it's horrible. Okay. So those are my two, like, are my three like complaints right now before I get into, we're going to get into a lot of fights today because I have a lot to like fuck you up about as far as what we're purchasing, what we're not purchasing. I have my orange juice. Okay. So Let's get into it. Um, first things first is this. This is a brand that I've showed you guys before. I didn't get the other one. Okay. 
So I got the large bowl and the small bowl. I used this one yesterday, so it has, it's been washed. So this is the large bowl. And I'm not going to tell you, you guys know, if you, you guys know the, the line, you guys know what this is, but I'm a gatekeeper. Yes, I do gate. I'm gatekeep everything because you ruin the fucking vibe. And I've seen you do it before. And it's infuriating because I don't like the thing. Remember the thing? Give me the link. Give me the link. I, it, to me, it's so egregious where someone is very thoughtful and like has, you know, they've cultivated and they've curated their house, right? Or they've curated something. And you're just like, oh, give me the link. Give me the link. Where's the link? Where's the link? Who the fuck are you? Do some work. Get your own vibe. I have been over that. We've done this. We have been through this where I told you, you never fucking ask for a fucking link unless it's for my jewelry. That's what I do. Cause that's what I want to tell you. They're like, do you see how I have to defend myself? Um, I told you that I will give you a link for my jewelry. That's what I do, of course. Like I sell jewelry, I have a jewelry line. But it's different when you like someone goes and like does all this hard work to like make their house look beautiful. And they're just like, oh, give me the link. Like it's that, easy. give me the link. There's no links, okay? Shut up, there's no fucking links. So do it yourself, like figure it out. I have so many examples of times that I wanted links, but I was able to figure it out because I'm like, dumb, okay? I'm not lazy, I'm not stupid, okay? So. I am absolutely obsessed with this line. There's a lot of styles that they do, but there's only a few that are good, okay? I'm sure the rats purchase the shitty ones, okay? Which are ugly. This is basically the only line of that, okay, the only collection of that line that is good, okay? And you guys, if you know, you know, and they're fucking expensive, okay? And I've been wearing this bowl for a long time, these bowls but they never ever like go on sale. And there's never, like, you always pay for shipping and there's never sale. And it's just like, I always try to wait till I get something off and it just never happens. So I just like was really like sick one day to be honest. And I just pushed by. I was like, over, oh, I'm not gonna wait for this anymore. So I got those and I love them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, actually, I'll just do another stack. Well, I don't know, I wanna take this off. I love it so much, I've been wearing it. I just wanna show you guys some things. Um, so a lot of my stocking stuffers, you guys know, I have a lot of like earrings earring sets. You guys know I love earring sets. I'm really good at stacking earrings um, and making like really pretty ear sets. Um, and these are the new ones. You guys know what, like the U-locks and like the edge U-locks and the golden cubes, all that stuff that we stack. These, this is the next one. Okay. This is so pretty, especially for the holidays. These are the seventies studio um, hoops or drops, if you want to call them. But look at the um, pave, or not pave, but look at the diamonds on these. They're crystals, but look at the crystals. And they're all set individually with prongs. Um, they come two in a pair and people don't usually cascade things like this, but you should. It is so, it lifts your face. Just listen to me with the stacks, with the sets. I promise you, it's like, it's like a, it's not like um. It's like a formula, okay? It's not just like something that you just put earrings on. I was having to sign that, sign for that or not. Okay, so um, absolutely love these. You guys know these. Um, I think these are like 50% off or, or more than 50% off right now. So now is the time. Okay, so I already talked to you guys about this, um, the Jumbo Angel Letter. It's a super one. It's really glossy and it's really thick and it's really, I just love it. These are my bijoux, my pave bijoux. And look at how cute they are. You can choose it on a gold or silver chain. And then you can choose hot pink. It's like magenta pave and um, white pave or magenta pave and green emerald pave. And just for stacking, they are so pretty. I love them. You can also take them off and put them on a hoop. I'm telling you guys extra like tips, really, really cute. So these are really, I love them so much. I have my champagne layers. These are just really good stacking pieces. They are like a light gold color because you guys know I'm really into different gold tones, like deeper gold tones, champagne tones, and it's all fun to mix and match. And I just, this is the prettiest, most sparkly, thick, solid chain. And then I have like this flash snake. So good layering pieces. I also did something, okay, a lot of this is obviously unisex, but I know a lot of boys are like, what can I get? You can, to this is so unisex, like this is so unisex. The bijoux are unisex, but if you like are nervous, I also made a mix, a boy mix chain. I took two of my favorite chains and these are solid. These are solid, they're not hollow. None of my stuff is hollow or gross. Um, put them together. It's a glossy Miami and one of my favorite glossy curbs. 
and made you the perfect chain available in gold or silver it's amazing price is really really good too um i have a lot of crosses the earring sets are amazing um okay i just have so much let me show you these earrings oh my gosh okay these earrings are my baguette serpents you guys know i love all kinds of things i'm wearing serpents on this side yeah um i'm wearing i love all kinds of serpent earrings these are very giving um like designer serpent earring look at these are um baguettes all little baguette like triangle baguettes in like these serpent style hoops so gorgeous they go all the way around price is ridiculous um look at this necklace okay let me move on okay i have more to show you but i'll move on and then we'll come back because i don't want to show you everything at once and overwhelm you all i know is that okay Okay, so I put on another stack for you guys. This is the champagne um, layer, champ champagne gold chain. And this is my celestial cross. It is so pretty. There are like so many different cuts of crystals, baguettes, rounds, princess, everything on a 14K or gold filled chain. Sorry, 14K gold filled or sterling silver chain, your choice. And it's a sparkly one. And then I'm, I just kept on my angel letter because I'm just never taking it off. I love it. And I have it on the 20 inch so I can just like layer things and it's just so pretty. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is this and you're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? And then everyone's gonna want one. But I don't know where I saw this, but then I was like, I, I found one and I can't wait. I just, I'll tell you guys in a second, but can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's so weird looking, but it's the coolest shit ever. I'm sure you know because you know me, but it's for cigarettes. Like, how cute is this? It's German from, I don't know when, but it's that brand. I forget the brand. I have like a couple of things. To be honest, I don't want to tell you the brand. Like, is that rude of me? Because like, do you see what I mean? Like, I know a bitch. Like, why am I, but why? Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's Dresden, okay? And a fuck you. Because do you see what I mean? How a rat is going to go buy it and then just like, it's going to be not cool anymore because like, I don't want rats to have what I have. That's the truth. So how cool is this? I'm going to put this like on my coffee table and I don't give a fuck if I have a child, okay? Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to a child and you're smoking. Like, oh, what do you think I'm going to do? Never smoke again because I have a child? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like, yes, I will have a cigarette. Dude. Yes, I absolutely will have a cigarette. We dumb. Okay, so anyway, that is for this. And I'll set this up like, <sighs> this chair is egregious. It sounds like I'm 5,000 pounds on a chair because I am. Okay, so that I got. And then, um, okay, let's talk about advent calendars. I know you guys are like, this is also my one of my um, my Bianca um, bracelet. It has, it's with a lot closure. I love to mix like different um, chains with different, and this is, to be honest, this is one link tubing on me. That's why it's flipping around. It's pissing me the fuck off, to be honest. I wouldn't be doing this um, if it wasn't big. But I, this thing, like a lot of the jewelry is not the right length for me because I make just like standard lengths and I take them home to make video with. And I always fuck up and I don't do the right lengths, like something like this. Anyway, it's like, you remember they say like dentists have bad teeth? I swear, it's like, I would have the wrong lengths. Okay, it's just it's just like a fact of life with like doing your 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 trade. Okay, anyway, this I love this, and I've always done like different mix of chains with like hardware. This is really cool. It also comes in an, a really sick necklace. I love it. Look at that clasp, and look at that magenta pave all the way around on this really pretty braided chain. Okay, stop. Let's talk about. Okay, um, let's talk about advent calendars. Okay, so. I'm really picky when it comes to advent calendars. Yes, I am. Um, I don't think, like, I I always buy either, like, French or German advent calendars. Like, I, as much as I love the States, you guys know that, do not come for me because people think they're smart. They're like, oh, what do you mean you don't like American Christmas trees? Like, no, I don't. Like, why don't you get it? It doesn't mean that I don't love America. Like, you just don't want to, you have no vibe. Like, stop. So, um, advent calendars it's like, there are like really, really good ones. And I'm talking about the stupid Dior one for like $5,000 and you get like a fucking hand cream in it. Okay. Like, don't be dumb. Like, don't be dumb. Use your fucking head. There are classy ones. So last year I got like French chocolate ones and, um, I was going to get the same chocolate one again. I really liked it. It was really good, but I was too late. And so I ordered, I, I ordered two more. I ordered, I'll show you guys as they come in, but I did order. It's like a gramophone. It's from Liberty of London. You guys can go on and probably order it yourself. Like, or is it from, no, Fort, Fort and Mason in London. I ordered it from their site. And it's like, I hasn't arrived yet, but 
it's like a little, actually something just came. Let me see if it's that, it's probably not. Okay, no, it's not, it was something else. Okay, so it's like a little, it, what it seemed to be, it was like a little record player and then every day you, tr you put a new little record on the record player. It looks plastic though, I don't know. Um, and that's like, you get like a new Christmas song. And I thought that was so special. Like, that's just so cute. I mean, I don't know. And then that, okay. So that's like not a typical, but now they do like, okay. Like there, I hate the rat. I hate like the, the rat advent calendars. It drives me nuts. Like what's a rat advent calendar? Like I'm trying to think what like a rat advent calendar would be. Oh my God. I've seen them all over like TikTok and Instagram people. And they're so cool. Like, oh my God. It'd be like color pop, like color pop from Ulta. Like that kind of shit. Color pop, like. It's just tacky, like no. And I don't care if like you think that's cute. Like, you guys, please open your mind a little bit to like culture and like just like classiness. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, I have a zit on my chin. I'm trying to like lecture you. So I did get like you guys. This is kind of WT to be honest, <laughs> but it's very me because if you know my channel, you know me. This is C's candy advent calendar. I got it this year. I saw it. I I didn't even know that. I forget where I saw it, and I was like, oh, I have to get that. So I got the C's candy advent calendar and it's C's is like an original California, like chocolate company. And it's very like basic, looks like very Hallmark, looks very just like normal. Um, but I love C's, like C's is really good. So, and when I go to C's, I really only get that one butterscotch square, you guys know that I love so much. So this is like, I get to try other things, whatever. Okay, so I have that coming. I also have a, the French, like, or I think it's French or Belgian, like jelly. Um, so like little mini jellies coming every day. And I thought that was good because I do have like toast now because I feel so sick and I thought that would be nice to like try different jelly every day, but they're like not from America. It's not like, um, Smuckers. Okay. Like yeah, Smuckers jelly. Like that's what you would get. Okay. It's dumb. So as much as I love America, do you know what I mean? Stop. Don't put, paint me out to be like that because I will fucking check you at the door. Okay. I love the little prince and this is another thing that's not very American and you guys love to say that I try not to be I try to be like you try so hard to like not be not to be basic it's not true I really don't try not to be basic I cannot be basic like I really can't like I can't like it's just I, there's a, I don't there's nothing about me that's basic I'm not basic like I wasn't birthed to be basic like I wasn't brought up to be basic like we're not I'm not basic you know what I mean like I'm very cultured I'm traveled and I am very well read because I choose to be someone dumb shit like you okay I'm just gonna do that I'm telling you guys how it is before you come for me so I love the little prince but here in the states there's not very much available little prince like when I go abroad there is a lot more available hold on so, um, this chair is really disgusting. So I was looking online. I think I saw like La Cetane, you know, the brand La Cetane had something little Prince. I was looking for something La Cetane. That's right. And something little Prince came up and then I started searching more and I saw that Clarence was, had this little Prince like bag. And then it was for mothers. It was like a mother's like prep, prep, um, things like lotions and things for like stretch marks and like calming and things like that. So I didn't bring everything down because it's all like full size and like the oil is kind of like leaking. So I don't want to put it in here, but how cute is this little, um, Le Petit Prince. And then inside is just like for that. I don't feel well, sorry. Then it came with this little like chew toy or like bib. What do they do? Like hold in their mouths like what are they like little animals I don't know yes so this is so cute like if you saw this in my in my Dior stroller you wouldn't think I was from here we've already been through this I don't like to be normal and I don't like anything that's normal and I don't like anything that you have I don't like anything that mothers here have I don't want to be anything like you um and I will not okay I will strive to do something else like not okay do you, it just is what it is like I just don't but what I want to say is Clarence like really is cool. Like I'm like very surprised because I'm very used to getting treated like a pile of shit by um, companies. And that's why I don't treat my customers like piles of shit. That's why my promos are always amazing and all that, you know, I really take care of you guys. I was shocked when I got my Clarence order in, they gave me this entire box and it was like all wrapped nice, full of like nice 
like it's just it's you know it's just samples but how like appreciative is this so i will be definitely ordering from clarins again like directly from the site because they just this was very i was shocked so i was really happy and i think i also got free shipping and they gave me this usually it's like one or the other like you either get like free shipping or something but they gave me both so i was like really surprised and i was happy so i got that also along the same lines of lipity prints you guys know that i love um oh shit oh um i love like cups and different what's it called dinnerware and things like that and like utensils and whatever all that kind of shit okay so i was looking around and i found these little cups and saucers the cups are too small they're literally, literally for espresso um and this is just one example but they're all different and then here's the plates and i use the plates every morning for um i have something sweet with my coffee like in the morning um and they're all different like here's him with the rose and then here's the elephant I haven't read the book in a while. I'm going to pull it out and read it again. It's a short book. And then here's him on his little planet. And then here's him with the telescope. So cute. There's two more, but they're dirty. Or two more, but they're dirty. So I love this. I actually got this from eBay. If you guys want to look it up, um, you can probably find it. There's no name on it. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the name. It's also not American. I think this is like I don't, Eastern European, I'm thinking. That's what I thought it was. It kind of seemed like it, like the way it was, um, it arrived. Um, it was just, it came with like a brochure and just, okay, whatever. Okay. So the next thing I talk about is, um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. I'm going to show you guys the name. It's the Astier de Vellette. Okay. I can't, it's this brand. I am American. I don't know how to speak French. So shut up. I don't need you guys. No, I don't. Okay, yes, I love French words, but I really cannot pronounce them. And I, to be honest, I hate American people who are like, who who do like the accent thing, like we're speaking Amer like speaking English and they go off into like, their like accent. Like it happens a lot, like, when, like on the news channel, they're like, oh, you know, today in LA, you know, Maria, like, whatever. like they all go to like, in like the Spanish accent. It's weird. Why can't they say Maria? Like it just, it, it to me, it's weird. So I don't, it's just like, what? Like my brain has to like jog. Um, I'd be like if I was doing Greek and I'd be like, I don't know. I can't explain it. I, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay. So that's weird. Anyway. So I got, this is a very expensive brand. And I, the thing is I do like their stuff, but I don't love it. Like I just don't, there's like, it's kind of like a little bit too shabby chic, like, like distressed for me where I haven't been able to like love something. I love it when it's like this. You can like see the sparkle. Um, okay, but then I really did want like some incense. I don't know why. Like I'm really into making my surroundings feel nice because we're going through construction again. You guys know I cannot sit still. Yes, we are doing the whole thing as far as adding. I don't want to get into it. You guys know I can't sit still. It needs to be done before I give birth. <laughs> so huge projects and... Um, Stop. Okay. So I got this scent and I also got three other scents coming. I don't totally love this one, but I do like it. And I got this little incense holder and it was like a hundred dollars. It's like, it's dumb. Okay. It's really dumb. And, but it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. And I like, I like the real thing. So that is cute. All right. Um, the next thing I'll talk about is this brand. I know this is, you guys are getting a long video today. Okay. Is this brand? It's Kier Weiss. Kier Weiss. Okay. It's this brand. Um, I had this before in Brent. What do you guys know? I used to wear this. And then all of my makeup was stolen from my move from Newport to here. So, and you guys are like, I promise it was stolen. Like I swear, because I don't know where that box, there's like two boxes went and they have you check the moving truck before they leave. So I don't know what they did with it. Like, anyway, it was misplaced or stolen, whatever. And it just sucks because not only was a lot of money, but it's like curated over years, right? And I don't even know, like I've been having to rebuy stuff, <laughs> but I don't want to because I didn't love anything. Long story, you know how I feel, right? You know, how you, you know what I mean? So. I love this brand so much because it is 
some kind of Northern European. I think she's either Swedish or Norwegian or Finnish, something, okay? And I love that area. I'm, I'm half Swedish and I'm just drawn to that kind of vibe. Um, and they just get it, okay? Like if you're gonna order something from like a German line or a Swedish line or something, it's usually done right. The color is right, the quality is right. It's just done right. They, they just, they, they understand design and they understand quality and they understand, they just do, okay? Like, it's just not like, it's not like here. It's just not, and it's not like other places. So I didn't even, usually I would never put, try to pick a lipstick online. I would never, I'd have to go in the store, but I just knew that I trust, okay, because I had ordered her stuff before, I just chose a color and I love it. Okay, so I got this pink set and I also love the way it comes in this box, these red boxes. Not that I, you know, they're really nice, but like, I don't know what to do with them. It's like giving Cartier, I love it. Um, but anyway, so everything is really nice and it comes in like these, and this is the pink and I have this on and it's the color is blossoming and it's a weird texture and it always has been a weird texture, I remember, because it's all natural. And so there's coconut in it. Or so, I don't forget, I remember asking them a long time ago, like, why is it bumpy? It seems rotten, but it's not. There's just like, it's just, it's just different. Okay. Then I, I needed a black eyeliner and I've had their black eyeliner before and I needed another one. So I bought it and I love that it comes with this really nice metal tip or cap. And then it has the matching that's not this one though. I want one a little bit darker. Then I also got their Cherish. Do you guys remember this? Okay, I had this a long time ago and I loved it. Even though I, for me, I think I'm too old. I, when you are old, you don't look good in lip gloss. I feel like you, it's for young people. I don't know. It, I, to me, it makes me look older. I don't know. I don't think that lip gloss looks pretty on older pe old people. Um, do you see how I'm self-aware? Yes, I am very self-aware. Not like your rat ass. We'd probably put fucking this all everywhere. Piss me, piss me the fuck off. It's true. You're dumb. You don't get it. And you, you're not honest with yourself. That's why you're not honest with yourself about the Christmas tree. And that's why you're not honest with yourself about whatever I'm going to tell you next. And it's coming up now. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you guys for my line. Um, actually, let me just um, change my earrings out so I have okay I don't know which ones am I gonna do I have sets let me just show you I already showed you guys this but just for the sake because I know it's they're really pretty I already showed you I don't need to put it on like it's it's obviously gorgeous okay that one you guys are gonna love I don't have to show it I have another I have little sets that I did like pairs like this one is the Clio um it comes in silver and gold and um it has like a big oval in the middle and then it comes also with baguette, little baguette hoops to stack. So cute, gold or silver. This one is called the Ivana and I named it after, e okay, so it comes with this big square one and it has one row of crystals. This is my other one that I still had in and it comes with this three row and it's so 90s like glam. Um, perfect for the holiday, but also perfect for year round. And look at how cute that is. Like it's just the best set ever. I love really flattering hoops that cover the earlobe. Not on just, you know what I mean? And do something. I wouldn't really, actually I would. <laughs> that actually does look good, even though it doesn't, it, I wouldn't have actually chosen that. Okay, let me just show you guys one more thing. Um, I just wanna show you guys these. They are, I just have so many really good ear cool. It's just so cool. This one with, you guys know how much we love the U-locks. I have new stacking U-locks. They're these. They're almost the same as the U-locks that we love so much, but they're slightly smaller and they're more like squared off. In the pictures, I have them stacked with this. So it's like super modern with a pair of these. Um, then, so I put this back on, you guys. So I'm just gonna live in these. I love them so much. And here's this too. This is my Grand Emerald. It's so pretty. It, you guys, look at the detail. It's so gorgeous. I have it layered with this um, in pictures. It's even more pretty on. It's to die for. I think this is like 
$50 off or something. So I also have this too. It's my little twinkle. It's on a new chain too. Really cute high on the neck. Twinkle. And then each little diamond or crystal is like in a little star, like pointed setting. So it looks like a star. Um, for my silver girls and boys, this is so cute. It also comes with matching earrings or you can get it with matching ears if you want. It's just the tiniest, tiniest little cross on like this new, really, really delicate snake chain. It's like a new one that I haven't used before, but it's just perfect for every day, stainless, so you can wear it all the time. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you guys about my promo is um, this, and I should just put it on, but it's, of course, it's the wrong length, okay? It should be here, but I, you know, I told you guys, I just always fuck that up, and I always have the wrong lengths for myself. So dumb. So. Um, are you guys getting your Black Friday promos in the mail now? So you're seeing if you ordered, if you chose this as your, not this one, this ver the, the heart as your free gift. Um, this one is going to be in my stocking stuffer. This is about three times as big in the heart. So yours is like smaller. This one is like way bigger. And I have them in moons and um, hearts. And I have them in several different colors. Here's the moon. So gorgeous. It's moonlight. It's not AB. It's like a soft AB. And it comes on a 14K gold filled or sterling silver chain. It's like a mini, what's it called? Um, curb chain. This is the lavender AB. But do you see how uh, this was free? A version of this was free for you for the promo. This I think normally is 145. I think I have it as 110 right now um, for stocking stuffer promo. These are um, vintage, these are not vintage. These are rare color stones and this is the Lavender AB. I showed you the Moonlight. I also have um, pink and I have AB. So I just want to show you guys that the things you get for free, I have, there. I, they're also for sale. It's not the same. These are not the same. Those will be for sale too, don't worry. But for my stocking stuffers, I want to give you something even bigger. Um, this is just so gorgeous. And you can even do it like short and make it like a choker. It's so pretty. It's just so good. It's the most gorgeous. They're the most gorgeous colors ever. The moons are so pretty. And then the fronts are different from the back, so you can wear them different ways, just depends. Or you can get them long. Okay. So I'm done showing you guys my, okay. So I put this on just to show you guys for the last look. So pretty, okay. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is some are some baby clothes. And I wanna set the record straight because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be, this is the thing, is I do not like the new age mom. I don't like the new age vibe. I don't like the new age baby clothes. I hate the new age baby. I hate the modern baby. They're gross and they just, I, I can't, I have a lot of opinions about it. Like I do with everything and my child will not be like that. They, my child will not dress um, like, like it just stepped out of Target. Okay, no, will not. It just won't. Like I, I just, I don't understand. Like I don't, I have never, I rarely see children in the States that look cute. Like I promise you I don't. They're always wearing some like graphics or like some like weird colors. I think that ch like babies, especially girls, should be so sweet and innocent, like euphoric, like an angelic, okay? Angelic and pure and clean and like white and very light colors and be really, really careful about the pinks you choose because so ugly. Like I, I just, you know what I mean? Like just, okay, so. I got some clothes. Um, I ordered so Black Friday. I kind of waited because I didn't know. I just, I'm, I'm new to this like baby thing, right? So I just been following some accounts, and I'm always looking for like. So I don't want to dress my baby or like, when she's a baby. I don't want to put her in like dresses. I don't think yet. Like I will get some dresses for photos or whatever, but I want her to be in like very cute, comfortable. Um, clean looking things um, that, cause I know she like, okay, they mess things up. Okay, so let me show you guys like things that I got and I'm gonna show you like what I, what's acceptable and what's not. I don't have anything that's not, but okay, we'll just go through it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is, I'll show you the better ones at the end. So 
I love this. It's by Little, I don't know what Little Me is. It's all cotton. Do you see the color of this pink? It's basically like my nails. It's very, it is the perfect baby pink, okay? It's the perfect baby pink. And when you're gonna have any kind of a, and late like a lo not a logo, an image, it should be embroidered. Like it really just should be embroidered. Anything that's like printed, unless it's like a fabric, is disgusting. Okay, it's white trash. Okay, S get stop. I don't need to fight with you. You can you can dress your child as you like. Okay, it's not cute. Okay, and I don't like ruffles on the ass. I don't like ruffles on. I don't like ruffles. Period. You guys might like. I don't like ruffles. That's true. You guys, I'm. Why are you here? Why are you on my page? Like, you know I have opinions. Are you here just to hate me? That's fine. I know you do that. That's what everyone's doing. They take my words and they spin them because you want to hate me. I don't care. Do you think I care? No, I don't. I, I prefer it that way, to be honest. I would. I would prefer it that way. So you, so just go. Okay. So um, this is so cute. It's very innocent and it's very like 90s baby. It's very Jean Bonnet. Okay. It really is. You guys, we're not naming her Jean Bonnet. We can't. Like, I want to so bad, but you know we can't. Like, who knows? But I don't know. Right now is like the verdict's out. We can't. People are gonna think I like, want my child to be dead. Like, I just, I don't know. Okay, stop. But it's very 90s, like little princess. Okay. Like, that's my vibe. Where the motherfuck is my brush? Okay. This is another one from the Little Me brand or whatever, which I like, but I like this another, another brand I'll show you better. So it's just simple and white um, with a little embroidered rosette. And then this one is not my favorite, but it's, it doesn't bother me because these packs that come, like when you get like packs of clothes, usually like one of them's really ugly, so I don't buy them. If it's like one of them's egregious, I just want, what, what's wrong with my hair? I can't, like I can't even look at myself. I need to stop this video. The chair is fucking me up. I'm starting to get ugly. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, you just got like disgusting in like a matter of seconds. I need to hurry up in this. Okay, gross, okay. And then the back I love. Just, do you see how it's cute, right? It's, it's very cute. Okay, so love this. And then I showed you the blanket, it's like, the, yeah, I showed you the blanket. And then I got these. This is so cute. Okay. These are burp set, whatever, burp, they're cloth. What are they? They're they're called bibs, right? Oh, what's a burp? Oh, there's a cloth in the back. Okay. So there's two bibs and all of them are cute. Look at how cute this one is. Thank heaven for little girls. And it's all embroidered. It's embroidered. Okay. Little little girls are sweet angels and they should have embroidery okay they shouldn't have printed unicorns and like rainbows and i don't even know what disney characters like i know you guys are like wait 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 i get it when my child is five she's gonna be wanting everything princess and i know she it's fine i get it okay i'm not dumb but as a baby and no to be honest no she's not getting ugly she's not gonna wear her like snow white costume out hey when kids do that it's like no no like you're not the adult here i am okay so, and then the second one is this little, so cute. Okay, and it, they all like go together. Okay, then here's the next one. Sorry, this is all thrown because I just threw everything up here to show you guys. I gotta wash everything too, so it doesn't matter. Okay, the next one is also embroidered ballerina slippers. So cute, and then plain pink and little hearts. Oh, they're all little hearts. Some of them are hearts, okay, and all little hearts. I much prefer heart polka dot to regular polka dot because Polka dots give like poodle skirts, 1950s, and I kind of don't like that. Okay, then I got this burp, uh, this little blanket, and look at the embroidery. Like, do you see how this is very sweet? Do you see how this is like classier? It's like cute. And no, like, the, to be honest, I don't like, okay, stop, I'm not gonna get into it. Okay, so this is the one I really like, and this is by Kiss, Kissy Kissy, and I really like the quality on this brand, so I'm gonna be ordering from them more. I think, but I like the other one too, but I like this one more. And this is perfect. So here is, this is too, this is huge, but the it's just really nice fabric. And I love this lace detail, whatever this is. Um, and it's just adorable. And look at the feet. Okay, and all of the little buttons. Okay, that. And then I got a little bonnet. 
And I got a little burp cloth. And then this is for when she's older. It's a little short set and a little like dress. Just cute, okay? Like just very, do you see what I mean? Do you see the vibe? Okay, so that's it. And I'm happy to get through this because I was really sick. But I, I should have, I want to show you guys, I got the, um, what's it called? I got the high chair too, but I'll show you guys next time because it's not a regular high chair. No, it's not your gray co high chair with the weight, the big, big legs and stuff. No, it's not, okay? It's like, stop, don't, you're mad. I'm gonna get really defensive about mom stuff because I'm not even a mom yet and I already have, I already know too much and I know nothing. <laughs> okay, anyway, I love you guys. Go shop my um, stocking stuffers. Okay, bye.